located at the three corners of equilateral triangle as I am trying to show like this. Just observe. Suppose this is point A and this is point B and it is point C. You may pause the video and read the question once more from the main heading title of this particular YouTube video. They have said that A moves towards B and B moves towards C and C moves towards A where O is the centroid of the triangle. So in due course of that movement, at any moment whenever you join A, B and C, they are going to form another equilateral triangle of smaller size. So what will happen that eventually A will take a path of like this and similarly B will also take and C will also take. And the, all the three simultaneously will meet at the point O. So all the three particles meet at point O. O is the centroid of the triangle. So now let us concentrate on the path taken by point A. What is the question? The question as they have mentioned is that to find the distance travelled by particle A when with respect to the centroid, this is the centroid, the angle of rotation is 2 pi, that is 1 revolution. 1 revolution means the point A starts from here and it moves at this particular location. That is with respect to O, this point A comes here. So therefore, this is the location, final location we need to find out. Now once this particle is moving along its path, just observe, its speed which is the tangential velocity u, let us say u, that remains constant and this is point O. So at a moment if I take this as x, you can denote it by small r also. So from the initial point, this is point A, this is O, this angle is theta. Theta is the angular location that we are trying to show at any moment of time. So what will be the angular speed omega. So let x is equal to distance of particle A from O at any instant. So at certain instant let us say the distance of particle A from point O is denoted by just observe, it is x. I am trying to write like that. Then we can have omega is equal to. See, always what will happen that whenever A, B, C will move, the component of velocity, I can write it here. The component of velocity towards the point O, that means the centroid, it will be always u cos 30 degree, is it not? And what will be the initial distance? This initial distance, you know that the distance between the vertex and the centroid is A by root 3, where each side is A. So this u, which is tangential at that moment, is it not? It has u cos 30 degree towards O and u sin 30 degree perpendicular to this line joining. So what is omega? U, omega is equal to u sin 30 degree divided by x. And what about u cos 30 degree? u cos 30 degree will be towards this, towards the centroid. And due to this, the distance between this point A and the centroid is reducing. So therefore, this will be equal to minus dx by dt. So for us, these are the two governing equation. Just see, I have tried to write it like this. So these are the two governing equation. U cos 30 degrees minus dx by dt and this omega which is equal to u sin theta divided by x. Now let us handle this. What is omega? Omega will be equal to d theta by dt. 
and this is equal to u sin that is sin theta is half so it will be equal to half times u by x and from here just observe u dt will be equal to minus i am writing this cos 30 degrees so finally it will be 2 by root 3 and dx here negative sign is because x is decreasing with respect to time so if we merge these two equation so what we will have just observe let this dt go there so d theta is equal to half u dt upon x here u dt is this so rearranging we get half times minus 2 by root 3 dx by x is it not so this 2 gets cancelled so we have minus root 3 integration of d theta is equal to integration of dx by x and x initial value is a by root 3 and when this becomes at this location let's say it is x naught where it will be 0 to 2 pi that angle where what is x naught that i tried to mention here so here x naught will be equal to distance from centroid up to point a during one round when it moves one revolution so let's integrate this put the upper and the lower limit so we have log base e it will be x naught divided by a by root 3 and this is at the other side it will be just observe it is minus root 3 times 2 pi so it becomes e to the power and we have x naught is equal to a by root 3 e to the power minus 2 root 3 pi this is x naught i hope this makes this clear it is x naught now we need to find out the time that it takes to reach up to that particular point. How to find out time? You have already seen this u dt is equal to this. Is it not? From there we arranged in this way and we found out x naught. Using u dt is equal to minus 2 by root 3 dx. This one. So, upon integration, u is constant. So, u integration of dt is equal to minus 2 by root 3 integration of dx. And dx means x is initial value a by root 3 up to x naught. So, it will be equal to u delta t, where delta t is the time taken by the particle to move in such a way so that its rotation is 2 pi. So, this u delta t is minus 2 by root 3 and this becomes x naught minus a by root 3. Check the calculations. From there, delta t comes out to be, I am reversing this, ad this adjustment of the negative sign, it will be 2a by 3u and 1 minus e to the power minus 2 root 3 pi. This is time. Now what the question is? Question is what is the distance traveled as during its entire motion the speed remains constant so as speed is constant so therefore distance traveled by a for one round one round means that is about o the rotation is 2 pi so this will be equal to simply speed into time u into delta t just u into delta t how much it becomes it will be equal to 2a by 3 1 minus e to the power minus 2 root 3 pi this will be the distance traveled by a or any particle during their one round about point o just pause the video and have a proper thorough checking of each and every step that has been followed.